Hey, what's going on everybody? Lambo here. Today we're going to learn some XML basics because after reading some of the comments that you guys have left on all the videos I made, you need a little refresher. So for XML basics, we have things called tag, attributes, attribute value, element, self-closing tag, opening tag, closing tag, nesting tag, root element, and a comment. Now I've already copy and pasted some code in here to kind of explain some stuff to you. Oopsies. And what I want to show you first off is we see this tag base. We're just going to keep it real nice and simple here. We have our base tag. And if we come up here, we will notice that it is a tag. The elements name enclosed in a uh, brackets, the greater than less than sign. So it looks something like that. Okay. Anything that is inside of it would be a nested element such as parent, which would be our first tag we just looked at, and then you would have child, which is going to be inside of the parent. So if we open this up and we look inside of here, uh, this will make it easier. This component, this would be a nested element because inside of it, it has its own little tag section here. All right, now let's take a look at what a attribute looks like. An attribute, a property of the tag provided in the format E equals value. Example, mod equals this map that I was working on here. So let's go look at a attribute. And then that attribute is also going to have a value for it. So let's go find a attribute. So this size right here, it is a tag. So this first section here, that size and the very end of it is the tag. This is the attribute. And this is the attribute value, usually encased in parentheses. So width would be an attribute length attribute height attribute and then here's our attribute values now let's take a complete look at an element a complete unit including the opening tag attributes and optional closing tags or self-closing syntax before i scroll down i'm going to show you really quick the self-closing tag it's usually a tag that it does not have a closing counterpart ending in this so i will show you down here this is an opening tag. This is a closing tag. But also stuff like size right here, go back up to here. It has its own closing right here. Now, if we wanted to remove this flash here and make a uh, closing tag kind of like this, this also is a closing tag. You can see how it lit up green from there to there showing that this is closed. So both of these will work if you had additional data to put in there. Uh, the key thing here is, is you need the closing backslash. You definitely need to make sure you have that in there. Now, when we start talking about the root element here, this is going to be the outermost top level element that contains all other elements, placeables, and whatnot. For this, I'm actually going to open up a trailer, and we can see up at the top up here that the opening tag, this part not included, is vehicle. And vehicle has some attributes and an attribute value. It has another attribute. This is usually the same for all, all of your mods. But this closing tag, we'll see it lights up green right here. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, sorry, your eyeball creeping out, we will see that it is closed right here under vehicles. The same thing with i3D mappings. There's a lot of i3D mappings in here. Holy moly. You can see the opening tag and our big line. It goes down to the closing tag part. Now, whether you're using a self-closing tag, which has the slash in line with the original tag, or using a closing tag that has its own individual placeable whatnot. So good examples of closing tags. That's a closing tag. This is a self-closing tag. Self-closing tag, self-closing tag, another self-closing tag. But here inside of we have a child, that is nested inside of the base tag, and it has another child nested inside of its object change. So if we wanted to add more objects that we had changed when the car was purchased, we could come right in here, make another child inside of this parent. And as long as we are inside of object change to object change, these will work just perfect. You notice here it says object changes, and here it says object change. And for those that just still don't get it in the back, we're going to go down the line really quick and just do a quick recap on what we learned. A tag. This is a tag. A complete. This is it right here. The element's name encased in greater than or less than. Attribute. 
attribute would be something like width here because it is inside of the tag size with a ending bracket right here. And it has attribute values like the size width is number 12. Next, we're going to be talking about the element. So this whole thing would be the base element. This part right here would be the hotspot element. This is a components element. The hotspot has a self-closing tag that covers right here. And then this one has a opening tag. And this would be the closing tag. Next, we're going to look at nested elements. Because we have components right here, inside of there, it has a single component. So this would be a nested element that has its own attributes and whatnot. The root element would be the entire thing, which in this case is vehicle tag. So inside of the root of the vehicle, if you hear that term, that's what that means. Now, one thing we did not cover is comments. If you see this tag here where it is a, uh, a less than sign exclamation point dash dash, and then you put your comment in there along with a dash dash, that's how you make a comment to where the game doesn't read it. Because if we uncomment this, it'll cause an error. So we're just going to leave that commented out. And there you go. That is the basics of XML. As long as you're ensuring that your tags are open and closed, so you got your opening tag. If we were to delete this, this forward slash under base right here, this would not be a complete tag. The game would think, okay, I'm going to read the base. And then what? I just came across another tag that's opening up a secondary base. So instead, we need to make sure that there's a backslash so it closes it. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that.